We're at Nordmeyer Park here in Bloomington near the intersection of 91st and Toledo. Uh, we have a buckthorn project going on here where we're aiming to remove buckthorn and restore prairie from the road on back to the marsh. So the issue with buckthorn, it grows so fast and so dense that underneath uh, it kind of shades out all the ground cover so no, there's no ground cover, cover underneath it. it uh, it's all bare dirt. So nothing can really grow. The goal when we remove it is to bring some more light back to the ground, get uh, ground cover. It helps with the stabilization of the soil, erosion control and all that. And as well as just try to get it back to natives here. Our goal is to kind of replant it into native grasses and you know make the whole site a native prairie instead of having buckthorn everywhere. So you can see through here before it was all buckthorn. <laughs> We use chainsaws, brush saws. First thing we do is we'll go through with a little brush saw that'll take care of all the little whippy stuff. And then we come in with chainsaws and cut down everything that's bigger, kind of knock it over. And then we'll bring the loader out later. That'll pick everything up, puts it in nice piles, saves on our back. Because it is pretty strenuous work. And then when that's done, we'll come in with a herbicide mixture and we'll treat the stumps so they don't grow back next year. We don't just manage buckthorn, there's others we monitor. Uh, garlic mustard's another one we try to take care of as best as we can. And I know there's other programs throughout the city where people are taking care of the garlic mustard and uh, other invasives as they come in. Well, the piles are set up, we plan on burning them in the winter. At least three inches of snowfall we need, we'll probably need more just due to the size of the piles and just to be safe. Um, they might be here for a month, they might be here for a year. We don't really know depends on when we have time to get out here and when the conditions are right to burn. You know, with COVID-19 and everything, it's nice to be outside and have a nice place to walk through. And with the buckthorn here, it was nice before, but when it, with it gone, it's a little bit better. Kind of a little um, hope, I guess, for the natural area. So it'll be interesting to see in the spring what might pop up, you know, with the extra sunlight hitting the ground and a little more, a little less competition from everything around it. Uh, one of my favorite things, I guess, is finding flowers and things out in the prairies that you normally wouldn't find. You know, keep an eye out. Something new might pop up, you never know. If it is a remnant, there's always stuff lurking in the ground that didn't come out in the past because of degraded conditions. Bloomington does have a, a really nice set of natural resources throughout the city and some really high quality ones as well. So we're kind of aiming to keep those how they are and not let these invasives grow in and take over and take away all our, our natural resources.